This video is about simulation based requirements testing with SUART. You will see in this video a short overview of this tool SUART and its module SIMBA. You will see a short introduction of functionality and benefits of SUART SIMBA module, an online demo with the tool, and a summary with some useful links. The system architect designer SUART is a design and simulation framework for system design of heterogeneous embedded microelectronic systems. SIMBA stands for Simulation Based Analysis of System Requirements. It extends SUART towards a simulation based verification environment and connects the requirements engineering domain with system design and implementation. It provides simulation based requirements testing and supports black box and white box verification. For more information about requirements and their specification, a separate video is available. In the next minutes, you can see the generation of black box test bench and the generation of a white box monitor. You will see the integration into the actual design and how the gathered simulation results can be analyzed in SUAS verification plan. Benefits for you are the generation of test stimuli, an overview of the verification progress, insight into the design's internals, and many more. This slide shows an overview of the SIMBA workflow and where the focus of this video is situated. To be able to use requirements files in SIRT, they have to be added to the project first. Lexicon files are used to recognize word types. Once added, the lexicon files are updated automatically every time the user specifies new information. The requirements file has to be parsed by SUART to validate the user input. As a result, several files are automatically generated, which will be used in the further process. More information about the parsing process is available in a separate video. The files are now displayed in the auto-generated folder in the project tree. To transmit the project changes to SUART server, the commit button has to be selected after every alteration. Now the design is developed according to the requirements specified earlier. The design is now ready to be verified by a black box test bench. For verification purposes, a new type of test bench is created from the existing design called verification test bench. It is a copy of the original test bench, enhanced by a bunch of new verification features. The black box test bench generation is invoked in the context menu. The automatically generated files already mentioned earlier have to be provided as source of input for the generation process. The black box module now appears in the auto-generated model section in the project tree. It is added to the design and will apply stimuli to the design under verification at simulation time. The design is generated, compiled and simulated to retrieve simulation results for further processing.
Stuart's verification plan offers the possibilities to get a quick overview of the already gathered results. The user has to open the requirements file to obtain the use case tree in the left side of the verification plan. The tree nodes are still empty now because no simulation results have been read in yet. Therefore, the file containing the particular simulation results is selected and automatically processed by SEART. The use cases are marked accordingly to their status to give the user a quick overview. Here the use case ready has failed, all others have passed the specified requirements. Additional information is now available for use cases and their steps to provide a deeper understanding of the verification results. This knowledge can be a valuable source of information for the user during development and test of hardware designs. There are cases which demand further inspection of the design's internals. White box verification provides the user with powerful techniques to achieve that by seared generation of so-called white box monitors. Again, the first task is to specify the requirements for the modules of special interest. For this demonstration, the requirements files have already been written, imported and parsed as demonstrated for black box verification before. The white box monitor is generated through the context menu. Again, the automatically generated files to use are specified. The white box module now appears in the auto-generated model section in the project tree. It is now added to the design and will retrieve details about internal communication in the design under verification at simulation time. Again, the design is compiled and simulated to retrieve white box simulation results for further processing. The white box verifications results are also processed by SEART's verification plan. The source of information for the use case tree is the new requirements file. The white box monitor's results file is selected for processing this time. The additional information about the specific module's behavior provides the user with a better understanding of the design and helps to locate bugs near the actual location. More information about the verification plan is available in a separate video. You could see that Stuart Simba module provides a novel design flow to fulfill the following tasks. Requirements are derived from the specification document. Constraints are evaluated at system level with simulation-based performance and power estimations. A design space exploration assesses the results of these evaluations to find or develop the optimal design that fulfills the given constraints. The verification platform generator generates test benches in System C language from functional requirements with minimum user interaction. Test benches are used for functional verification, also called black box verification. Protocol checkers are used to verify internal requirements also known as white box verification.